fully on board with the non-interventionism. Uh, absolutely. As I think most of the alt-right is as well. Um, we don't want to be entangled in these foreign alliances. We don't want to be policing the world. We don't want to be spreading uh, Western values to places which have no desire to adopt Western values. Uh, we are perfectly happy to let people have their own culture and their own countries and their own nations, as so long as they're willing to let us have our own. And we recognize that a lot of the blowback we've received and uh, terrorism we've endured and issues we've had to encounter are because we've been meddling in places that we shouldn't be meddling in. Uh, that's something that I don't think gets highlighted enough with the alt-right. Uh, but I definitely want to make clear. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there. I think that the silent majority of the alt-right are, um, are the former Ron Paul movement people, the uh, Tea Party people, the, the people who are in party and, uh, and they felt like they didn't get good enough representation through the Libertarian Party or uh, leading libertarians or whatever. Yeah. Um, I would say not even just the silent majority, but even the more prominent loud figures. <clears throat> In fact, I don't know of anyone on the alt-right, period, who is supportive of foreign engaging in and starting these foreign wars, which just drain our resources uh, and put our own men and women in danger for nothing in return in terms of uh, more liberty and prosperity for us at home, you know? So... Even even the worst quote unquote elements of the alt right, I think, are also on board with the non interventionism. Yeah, I, I agree there. Um, which 